Okay, so we're here at Nutrition Farms in the twilight uh, to discuss yet another how to do it segment. And we're going to talk this time about the importance of seed treatment and the tremendous potential that that strategy offers. Uh, because probably the most cost effective sing thing, single thing you can do, and we're talking like two, three dollars a hectare in many instances, probably amongst the most cost effective things you can do is to, to put on some nutrition, some microbes, whatever, onto that seed many of which will stay there for the full crop cycle and give that kickstart and that really there's some tremendous research on the potential of seed treatment. So we're going to talk about on a smaller scale and you can sort of extrapolate to whatever scale you choose, but we've got a, a concrete mixer. We've got eight kilos of multi-species cover crop seed, nice little mix here as you can see. Um, and we're going to treat that seed in the concrete mixer with the kind of things that we might add in a commercial sense, so you can just extrapolate from this. Now, the standard rule of thumb with seed treatment is that you really, if you go beyond 10 litres per tonne of seed, the seed gets too wet to, to basically manage. It tends to stick and so forth. So 10 litres is a guideline, but you can actually go higher and get more nutrition on there if you use a dry powder. You know, it might be fine lime or what we favour is, is micronized fine guano. Uh, which is calcium phosphate silica in quite high amounts and very available if you do it in the microfine, the very, very fine product. Um, and also very good levels of trace minerals. We're talking things like thousands of parts per million of zinc and manganese, some of the very important trace minerals for kickstarting a crop. So you can kind of think of seed treatment as, as mother's milk for your crop. It really gets things off to a good start and it's so inexpensive and it's not that difficult. So we would begin by adding our seed, and in this case we've just got eight kilos of seed into the concrete mixer. Just might turn it turn on its side a little. Just pull back this way a little. That's backwards. Well, I know you can't, yeah, that's it. Thank you. So that's our mix, our multi-species cover crop mix. Quite a lot of species in there, probably 20 different species. And then we talk about um, what we're going to do is put the equivalent of, of, of not 10 litres, but 20 litres. So we've overdone it, and then we're going to suck it up with our very fine guano. And you've got all the benefits of the guano, the calcium, the phosphorus, the trace minerals, the silica, and you've sucked it up and created this really nice seed coating as you suck the ex excess moisture out. It sticks to the seed, and you've got this really nice seed coating that kind of stays there. So. We do have a product called Seed Start, which has been developed for Broadacre, and it's a really good seed. So we've all got, also got a second product called Root and Shoot that I'm particularly fond of. Uh, I, can, I find that I can soak my garlic seed and it comes up in four days instead of 10 days. It's, it's a really comprehensive, one of our most comprehensive fertilizers. So we're gonna, we use it at half the rate that we use Seed Start, so it's quite cost effective. And we're gonna use that in this instance. So we've got some Root and Shoot here, and this is the kind of amounts that we would use that uh, it's equivalent to 40 mils uh, that we're putting into this mix. So we've got our 40 mils of, of root and shoot. It would be four litres per tonne of seed if we were doing it per tonne. We're talking on a sort of a more like a 10, 10 kilo ratio. Uh, and we're using BAM. So we've got our do-it-yourself brewed BAM and we're going to use 110 mils, 100 and, yeah, 110 mils of that. So we've got 150 mils in total, which is kind of equivalent to that 20 litres per tonne. And then we're going to put some mycorrhizal fungi spores and they're just a tablespoon that's sufficient for eight kilos of seed. So we're going to mix that into the mix. This is our mycorrhizal. This is called platform. Several species of mycorrhizal fungi and uh, some key trichoderma organisms, trichoderma harzianum, that's compatible with mycorrhizal fungi. So you've got the benefits of trichoderma, which are multiple. And there's also some bacillus organisms. So it's quite a little package. So we've got our BAM, uh, with all of its benefits, and so it's a sort of a double hit from a microbial, well, more than that, it's a treble, quadruple hit from a microbial perspective. We've got BAM, we've got mycorrhizal fungi, we've got trichoderma, and we've got some bacillus organisms in there. So this is our mix, and we're going to pour that into, this has got the equivalent of 20 litres per tonne of seed, uh, in this case 150 mils into 8 kilos. I'm going to pour this, if you just start turning that car, I'll just gently pour this through the mix. That's better. 
So we're going to turn this, oh, obviously, you can, have, you can have electric concrete mixed with which is tap and have this one laying around the farm. So we're using, uh, we're going to sort of coat that seed and it's starting to get, you know, reasonably moist in there. It'll take a couple of minutes of this uh, mixing. I'll just show how that is. Yeah, it's, it's quite moist. Yeah, it's at 20 litres per tonne of feet, it's too moist, but that doesn't worry us because shortly we're going to start adding our superfine guano. Here it is here. It's called Life Force Super Active. It's available uh, on our website. It's wonderful for broadacre because we actually have a product made from it called Fos Life, which is, as we said, calcium, phosphorus. It's 12, 12.5% 12 phosphorus, 26% calcium. 25% silica and really high levels of trace minerals. So, so it's going to soak up the excess moisture and coat the seed with this. Calcium is a fine calcium is wonderful as a, as, a, as a seed treatment by itself. So we've got the calcium in there, we've got the silica for cell strength, we've got the phosphorus, good levels of phosphorus and those really important tra extra dose of those trace minerals coating that sticky seed. So that's what we're going to do now. And there's no rule of thumb, it's just the amount that will, will successfully so it's nice and moist throughout now. Now we're going to add in some of this powder and you'll see the effect of the seed. It's, it's, it's immediately, the seed is immediately grabbing the powder and we're getting this really nice coating on the seed. You know, we've probably put, we could put whatever we want, but I'm going to put half a kilo or something. You can't overdo it. That's sort of, that's really good. That's that's what we want in terms of our. Yeah, so that will do us, and we'll show what we've created here. So here's our coated seed. It's, it's all nice and pryable, and completely usable. You can see it's got this it's got this fine coating of that wonderful guano all over it. It's not too moist. It's perfect to to use now in the cedar. And that's a great way to, to coat your seed, basically. It's a really, really good strategy of seed treatment. Now, if we wanted to, and I think we will do that, we wouldn't normally, there is one other product that I'm particularly fond of, and many of our clients don't really understand its potential, but it's a blend of the most prolific nitrogen fixes. It's called, uh, those organisms are called Azotobacter, and the blend is called BioN. And the finding, I'd always assumed that we, you know, we can treat something like maize seed and do an untreated row in, a, in an, untre or an untreated area and a treated area, and the maize just jumps out of the ground because, of course, it's very nitrogen hungry and these organisms are fixing nitrogen from the atmosphere and really providing a kickstart for that crop. And I assumed, because we've never gone beyond that simple uh, kickstart concept, that the organisms living on the roots being fed by the plant would eventually be consumed by other organisms crowded around that root zone waiting for their daily feed and there's a dog eat dog scenario there. But then all the studies started coming mainly from India where they've used the Zotobacter for years showing that that simple seed treatment, that free nitrogen that you've introduced, the potential to fix nitrogen, actually lasts for the full crop cycle. At the end of the season, you're still fixing nitrogen. So that can be done so cost effectively so that we might add into the scenario now a little bit of bio N um, and, and basically include that component. I mean, now we're getting quite a complex seed treatment, but we're including that component. That's about enough. Uh, and we'll mix that up and coat everything with the nitrogen fixes as well. And basically the scenario here is that we're going to have those nitrogen fixes working for us for the entire season. Now you don't have to be that complex. So that we use four inputs here, um, just, just seed starting platform or root and shooting platform. Uh, and but bam, so inexpensive, why not use it and make it the, the liquid base? Uh, and then you've sort of got that real microbial uh, kickstart. So that's probably enough to mix through that bio end and include that in the mix. And now we've got, our completed blend looks really good uh, and we'll pour that into into our container that's pretty good so that's how you treat seed and you can do that with 
you could lay, you can you could spray with a backpack spray with that kind of mixture onto the seed as it goes up into on the auger up into the planter. You could lay it out on plastic on a large scale and spray it down, or you can use a concrete mixer at any of any size. You can use much larger concrete mixers uh, to to coat that seed, and it's, and you don't have to do it. But the idea, if you want to put more liquid than 10 litres per ton, then you coat it with the micronized guano, and you get a lovely response with that. Thank you.